That's my buddy Daniel. He went out for a run this morning. Huh? I thought you went out for a run. <laughs> that, that doesn't look like running, bro. Yeah, just because you went down to the end of the street and got wet. Yeah, <laughs> loser on. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, we're gonna drive through a weigh scale and see how much the van weighs. Let's put this baby right on top of the scale. Back tires too. All right, we're on it. Total weight of my van is three thousand. Can you read that? Three thousand five hundred and sixty kilograms. What is 3,560 kilograms in pounds? 3,560 kilograms is 7,848.46 pounds. All right, so I think the gross allowable weight on my van, including passenger and everything, is 8,800 pounds. So we have 1,000 more pounds of payload capacity we can add to this van. So it's doing pretty good. Not bad at all. I thought for sure we would be a lot higher than that, but that's pretty good. All right, anyway, we just got fueled up at Daniel's place, had breakfast. He made ribs for breakfast. Come on, never had that before. Super cool. And now we're going to the um, ladder place to pick up the ladder. Hello, bunny. Wow, look at the finish on this. Guys, this turned out picture perfect. Oh, I'm so stoked to get this mounted this morning. Wow. <laughs> but I think it's pretty cool that they even went to the limit to do the uh, all my bolts too, which is great. Bye, little guy. See you later. They did all the little brackets and stuff on here. And uh, when John made these, John tacked the bolts right to the back of them. So I don't need to fiddle with the bolt on the back while I'm screwing it in there. This just goes on there, boom, the bolt goes in and we're good to go. John gave me these little black things. They're gonna go on top of here. That's to protect the gutter on my van. All right, let's hang this thing up. And you'll notice right here that John put a little notch here for right over top of the muffler so I know exactly where this thing gets mounted. The top mounting brackets up here have this little bracket goes underneath that has the bolts already welded to the back. And this goes between the ladder and the metal on the top here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a piece of rubber stripping on the top there to protect it when it's hitting up against the top of that. It's got tape on one side, rubber on the other, and we're just gonna run this right along the top of here. Okay, and this bolt here goes through the metal on that, so we're just gonna secure this one in from behind. We need the deep socket for that one. Oh, look how good that looks. Man, am I ever stoked on this, you guys. It feels rough, tough, and durable. It's solid, it ain't going anywhere. Um, yeah, so thank you to everybody who put their hands on that ladder rack to make it happen. Uh, John, thank you for building it. 
Todd here at the sandblasting place that sandblasted it. And then I don't remember the name of the powder coater up the street. Um, if I remember when I edit this video, I will throw the links to all of them down below if you need any little work like this done. <laughs> so stoked with how that looks on the van. Now it looks like we're ready for one F. <laughs> one F of a summer adventure. Let me tell you, it's coming. Number 21. Look at the size of those boats. <laughs> Some people think, oh, ferry boat. Oh, it's just a little tiny boat. These are like cruise ships. That's a big boat. We're back on the mainland and I'm popping into a hardware store right now to see if I can find a metal track to divide, right where Cruz is, to divide the linoleum from the front. It's starting to peel up. Sorry, Cruzy. Starting to peel up right here, so I figured if we can find, sorry, didn't mean to wake you. Um, a little track to put across there. Let's go find out. All right, guys, there's tons of little track stuff here. Those are pretty cool. Little beauty trim ideas, but I just need something to cover and trim the flooring up. Maybe eighteen bucks. different things. Ten bucks. Hmm? <laughs> That's about all I think I'm gonna need. We got ourselves a little rug for the front of the van because, well, isn't that what you do? When you have an awning on your adventure home, you can get yourself a nice outdoor little rug. Yeah, so excited. What? <laughs> Every job needs fuel and Smarties. Does your Smarties look like this? You got like individual channels on the inside. <laughs> yeah. Here's what's going on. Because these are here and bolted in, I can't get this underneath. I think because all available space underneath there has this, but it just, there's no way. So I either need to cut them and fit it to size there so that it goes just in between, but that's what I want to do just to kind of clean up that little edge so we don't keep destroying this because when I climb in the back, my foot always gets caught on this. This is probably a very bad idea. Kids, don't do things that make fire or sparks inside of your camper vent. I highly suggest against it. All right. Maybe it's too short, maybe it's perfect. <laughs> Look at that, guys. When I bought the kit, I also bought all these separate little ones too, just in case I needed some finer detailed stuff. These little kits aren't that expensive. I think this extra one was like an extra $20 or something. All 
All right. Let's do this. Let's hope for the best. What's the worst that can happen, Chrome? You wreck it? Yeah, probably. This is going down pretty good here. The camera was rolling the entire time I screwed this down. At least I thought it was. <laughs> Apparently I didn't turn the camera on. Anyway guys, so we drove four screws through here. They're nice and snug. Now no dirt's gonna get underneath. And I thought for sure, because this stuff was pretty thick, that there's gonna be some gaps here, but it's right snug against it. This looks really good. It's a nice clean transition. Little things like this, I wish I would have taken the time to do when I first built the van, but it just looks so much better. It would look better if this ran the entire length of the van, but I'm not gonna stress and worry about it. It's all good. For the most part, these sections are covered anyway. Back here is where all Cruz's dog food and stuff goes, so you don't really see any of that stuff anyway. But I'm stoked. That looks super good. What do you think, bro? What is that, Dad? You can lie on it now. It won't be bumpy. Hey? Is that cruise approved? The amount of hair kicking around this thing is, is a little bit ridiculous. All because of this cute guy. You know, this guy right there. Hey, Mr. Cruzy, your hair's all over the van, buddy. Okay, now that we've got the ladder and stuff mounted on the van, it's time for me to think out what I wanna do on the top of my roof. So because I have the rusty roof racks in the back that I initially mounted my solar to or uh, Rainer from Ray Outfitted did for me, um, I'm going to be removing those metal racks and moving that solar system to the front of the van, opening up the entire backside for storage. So instead of me trying to always explain this because it's hard to kind of verbalize it sometimes, I got a pen. I got paper, and you guys are about to see my art skills. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. All right, guys, my little drawing here. I know this is horrible, and it's probably gonna not give you guys a great idea, but... Okay, here's my van, and the roof vent that's on the roof. So right now, I have a mix of two different roof rack systems on my... Ah, somebody's calling me. Oh, it's my daughter. Hello? Hey. <laughs> oh, check out the new screensaver I got on my phone. Somebody on Instagram sent this to me. It's totally awesome. It's cut out a part of it. But anyway, guys, let's get back to back to business here. I'm going to see my daughter tomorrow. So anyway, um, I don't know where I finished off here. So these black things that you see along here are the new roof racks I'm going to be putting on here. So there's going to be five bars across my roof. I was going to go with an, so I already own these two. I was going to go with just another two bar in the back, but I figured, you know what? They come in a three bar set. And if I add the third bar, it would make it kind of evenly spread across the roof. It would look better. And what if I need that center brace down the line? Anyway, I might as well pick it up now. So what I'm doing is the solar that's on the back already now on those metal ones, which I'm getting rid of, the solar is going to be shifted to the front and mounted between these two bars. There's going to be three solar panel bars up here. Those are the, uh... <laughs> you get the point, those are my solar. And the little gland, if you wanna call it that, on the roof here where the back solar comes down and goes in, I think the gland is back here a bit more but yeah there should be enough wire here that this will just go right into the front so i should just be able to move the solar from the back plunk it down in front we should be good to go i am going to be adding one big huge storage bin like one of those little pointy fronted aerodynamic ones with a lid and the lock on it 
so I can open it and stick things up in here. This is where my ladder is on the side of the van, so I can come up there and access that. So as of right now, I am gonna be mounting the storage bin. It's 75 inches long by 31 inches wide. Um, it's pretty big. I'm gonna be mounting it in the middle for now until I decide what I wanna do on the opposite side of the van. But as of right now, this is happening well, right now, let's go online and uh, take a look at uh, the company that I bought these original ones from, the original two roof bars that I have, the black ones. Um, we're gonna go online and just check them out. The company I'm gonna buy from is Hitchweb. Oh, you get a party popped up already. You know I've been looking at it, hitchweb.com. It is so fun to go through a site like this, especially when you're ready to do like alterations and stuff to the exterior of your vehicle. Um, sites like these have everything. Um, I was on here today, notice they got like portable toilets. All sorts of stuff, it's like seat cover, suspension kits. Uh-oh, they got winches. <gasps> okay, Carl, no, don't, don't, don't load. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't, I'll spend money if I start doing that kind of stuff. All right, let's find the roof racks that we need to order. Rhino roof racks. That's pretty cool. So you can mark in what you've got. So I've got a Ford E-Series. All right, perfect. So these are the end caps that I have on the ones I've got. Those are the ones that fit on my van, obviously. And the one I'm going with, are the same ones I bought before. I just like the style of that bar. It's a little bit more aerodynamic and modern looking versus like the standard box one that you can see here. 647 bucks for the three bar kit. That's exactly what I want. So we're gonna add one of those to the cart. Boom, 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 boom. Those are added. Then we need a rooftop bin. Rooftop storage bins right there. Cargo boxes. It's got a nice look to it. It's black, it's sleek. All right guys, we're gonna get this stuff ordered. So we have the three bar roof rack set up, uh, the crossbars, all the adjustment brackets. So a lot of these pieces, they add to it. Um, we don't need two of these boxes. This one can go. All right, there we go. I know some of you are thinking $1,400 Canadian is a pretty hefty price tag to invest on some rooftop storage. Well, if you look at it this way, it's only a thousand US. <laughs> our, our exchange rate is really whack. But $1,400 Canadian to add that much more functionality and storage space to my van seems like a pretty wise investment to me. It'll remove some of my clutter, allow me to put seasonal stuff in my van and non-seasonal stuff up on the roof, which is super awesome in a nice lockable little case. Kind of pumped up about it. So to invest the money on doing home renovations and adding some new storage additions outside of the house, I think is always a wise investment for anybody's van. Sure, I know doing these conversions aren't gonna be a thing for somebody brand new starting unless you're bringing in a lot of stuff when you start. But for someone like me that's getting more and more settled into this life, I'm starting to add more and more things that I would love to get out of the inside of this 60 square foot home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, guys, super stoked. I'm going to get this ordered and it should be in probably pretty quick. The last time they sent me stuff, it came super fast. Everything on the website says it's in stock right now. So uh, yeah, hopefully these will be in and we can get that on there in about a week and then we can leave on our, on our pretty awesome little summer adventure. Um, I know some of you are probably thinking, how am I mounting the solar to the new racks? Well, when John built my ladder on this trip, he also bent me some little um aluminum brackets that are going to be mounted to those front bars and uh super stoked okay guys thanks for watching this video see you tomorrow you're crazy passed out <laughs> see you guys